Hurricane Dorian has already claimed the lives of five individuals in the Bahamas. It was a category five storm as it was battering the Bahamas and the death toll is expected to rise as we get more and more reports. It's really a devastating story to say the least, but what's even more devastating is the type of reaction that we're getting from someone who's supposed to represent us, Donald Trump. Now, Donald Trump lashed out at ABC News reporter Jonathan Carl for fact checking him. And what did he fact check him on? Well, the statements that he's gonna make in this next clip, take a look. We don't know where it's going to hit, but we have an idea. Probably a little bit different than the original course. The original course was dead into Florida. Now it seems to be going up towards South Carolina, toward North Carolina. Georgia's gonna be hit. Alabama's gonna get a piece of it, it looks like. And it may get a little piece of a great place, it's called Alabama, and Alabama could even be in for at least some very strong winds and something more than that it could be. This just came up, unfortunately, it's the size of, of the storm that we're talking about. So for Alabama, just please be careful also. So on multiple occasions, Trump has claimed that the storm is gonna hit Alabama. He was fact checked by the National Weather Service, which claimed that it will not hit Alabama, not even close. And ABC News also fact checked him in this next report, take a look. He marveled at the size of the hurricane. I'm not sure that I've ever even heard of a category five. I knew it existed and I've seen some category fours, you don't even see them that much. But a category five is something that uh, I don't know that I've ever even heard the term. In fact, there have been several category five hurricanes since he became president. He also misstated the storm's possible trajectory. Alabama could even be in for at least some very strong winds and something more than that it could be. So for Alabama, just please be careful also. Not long after that, the National Weather Service corrected the president saying Alabama will not see any impacts from Dorian. The president who canceled a trip to Poland in order to monitor the storm spent much of today at his golf club in Virginia. CNN capturing these images of him playing golf. White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham says that he has been getting updates every hour all day long, presumably David, including while he was playing golf. So that ABC News report led to Trump having a meltdown on Twitter, as one can expect. I would argue that the, you know, the part about him playing golf probably got under his skin. But here's what he said of Jonathan Carl on Twitter. He says, such a phony hurricane report by lightweight reporter Jonathan Carl of ABC Child. World News. I suggested yesterday at FEMA that along with Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, even Alabama could possibly come into play, which was true. I'm just gonna stop there. It's not true. He was fact checked by the National Weather Service, which obviously knows more than Trump about where the, the hurricane is going, which states are gonna be impacted by it. I mean, you don't even have to go to the National Weather Service. Anyone in this country knows more than Donald Trump does. I don't understand why he feels the need to put Alabama residents in a panic when there's absolutely no evidence indicating that that uh, storm is gonna hit that state. He's a pathological liar, so the first lie uh, is done for I think a couple of reasons. One is just carelessly, it doesn't care, just verbal diarrhea, nonstop, right? He, he might have accidentally put Oregon in there, it doesn't matter. He just, but, but once he's lied, he's gotta stick to it. So they're, oh, you're lightweight reporter, lightweight National Weather Service, lightweight everything, your ratings are bad. <laughs> it's gonna hit Alabama, loser, idiot. Well, That's when, what you're, when you're insecure, okay. when yes. you're insecure, you're not ever able to admit that you've made a mistake. That is honestly a trait that you see in a lot of insecure people. That's who Donald Trump is, he cannot ever admit when he's wrong, and he's wrong here, but he's gonna double down. He's over wrong and over every again. day, 10 times a day. Okay, so then the second part of it, Alabama is a red state. So he said, uh, you know, the great people like the ones in Alabama. When, the poor, when uh, we thought the hurricane was gonna hit Puerto Rico, he said, oh, another one? When is it ever gonna end? As if it's Puerto Rico's fault, right? When it, so when it's Puerto Rico, ah, goddamn Puerto Rico. Hey, Alabama, be careful. Oh, you're my beloved, beloved white, 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 white voters who are Republican. I love you, Alabama. You're not gonna get hit, it doesn't matter. I'm, I alone can protect you, okay? <laughs> Puerto Rico is an island surrounded by water, big water, ocean water. Yeah, he's gonna you, protect you. You, on the other hand, you. are nowhere near the water, but that's okay. I'm gonna make up things and then pretend that I saved you. 
How do you save him from a hurricane? All right, anyway. Not only that, I mean, he can't protect anyone. In fact, he's taken money out of you know hurricane and, and extreme weather relief funds and diverted it to border patrol. I mean, he doesn't care about keeping anyone safe, period, including the people of Alabama. Yeah, and <laughs> so he, the golf. He criticized Obama a thousand times over golf. Oh, we have some examples. Okay, go to that, and then wait yeah. till you see him. This moron on Category Five hurricanes, and you—if you're a Trump supporter, you don't want to watch the rest of this video because you'll feel deep shame and guilt at how stupid you are. I don't know if they're capable of that, but let's go to graphic six, please, because again, he was golfing while while news and and reports of the hurricane were breaking, and he had a lot of negative things to say about Obama and his golfing habit. Let's go to graphic six. President Obama should have gone to Louisiana days ago instead of golfing too little too late. That's a tweet from August of 2016. This By the is way, while, now, okay, so now later, fast forward to Trump. He's golfing in the middle of the hurricane. Yes. Rick Scott, the governor, uh, the former governor of Florida, now the senator from Florida, had to say, "No, no, I, I'm sure that he was getting reports while golfing." Okay, be proud, be really proud. Let's give you more. Uh, this is a tweet from May of 2016. While our wonderful president was out playing golf all day, the TSA is falling apart, just like our government. Airports a total disaster. I remember the airports becoming a complete and utter disaster when the government was shut down for 35 days under Trump's watch, but I'll move on. In December of 2011, he tweeted, I play golf to relax. My company is in great shape. Barack Obama plays golf to escape work while America goes down the drain. By the way, he had <laughs> tweeted about Obama playing golf 27 times. And now all he does is play golf. He broke Obama's record, but it shattered it, shattered it. I'm not saying Obama had the record Eisenhower might have, but but what? And by the way, I thought Obama played way too much golf. Like I can't believe how little the presidents work. But then Trump's like, hold my beer, kind of literally, right? Right. Because all I'm going to do is play golf. And look at that. I mean, that's perfect to escape work. That's why he does it. Oh, my companies are in great shape. You bankrupted six companies, you loser. Maybe you should play a little less golf, and then you wouldn't bankrupt as many companies. Anyway, category five, nobody's ever heard of it, right? Well, I've heard of it my whole life. If you've ever watched a, a, a weather report about hurricanes, you've heard about the different categories, including category five, right? Well, apparently, there's one moron who's never heard of it. And get a load of the different times that he says this. Yeah, so I actually want to go to two different videos. Let's start off with the first one. This is what he has to say about Category 5 hurricanes today. We will work very hard to minimize whatever the effect of, of what's coming at us. We don't even know what's coming at us. All we know is it's possibly the biggest. I have not sure, I'm not sure that I've ever even heard of a Category 5. I knew it existed. And I've seen some category fours, you don't even see them that much. But a category five is something that uh, I don't know that I've ever even heard the term other than I know it's there. So he might not have ever heard the term category five. That's already deeply, deeply embarrassing. But wait a minute, it's now, it's, this is not the first hurricane on his watch. Let's see if he's ever heard of category five hurricanes before. They've never seen a category like this come in because it came in really at a five. It was a category five. I never even knew a category five existed. Got hit as a five, category five storm, which just literally never happened. It actually touched down as a category five. People have never seen anything like that. This has been a category five, which few people have ever even heard of. A category five. Nobody's ever heard of a five hitting land. Category five hurricane, category five. Never heard about category fives before. <laughs> Such a sad narcissist. A lot of those video clips were, for, were from 2017. Yeah, so first of all, if you never heard of a category five in 2017, after having said you've never heard of one, which is already deeply embarrassing. Anyway, it's about a thousand times over. By now, you would think you would have heard of a category five when you yourself talked about it. I don't know if, like the people keep asking the question of, is he in mental decline or was he always painfully unintelligent? And my answer is clearly both. Yeah. This is what an, a, a, a very below average mind looks like while deteriorating. So, and, and the narcissism part comes in at, hey, my ignorant ass had never heard of a category five storm. 
So I'll assume no one has ever heard of a category five it's storm. A, it's amazing. I mean, <laughs> it, it makes me think back to when he was trying to fix healthcare in America and he said, who would have known that healthcare is so complicated? No, no, he no. said, oh, very close, he said, no one knew healthcare was this complicated. Everyone knew, but you, daily, but you. Daily embarrassment. Yeah. I, and this is not hyperbole, I mean this. Literally the dumbest person elected as president in the United States. Oh, That's so easy, no, that's Literally. not even a question. And I mean, I mean I, he now makes Bush look smart and Bush was a category really four, yeah. okay? Yeah. And Trump, I never heard of it before, but is a category five idiot. And so <laughs> now, the, I think though, I honestly believe this. In all my years of covering politics, now over, well over two decades, I have never seen a politician as dumb as Donald Trump elected at any level. He makes Gomert look like a PhD. Okay. It's true. So he, and if you look up to him, oh my God, that is so embarrassing and humiliating. And one day you'll pretend you never did, and one day you'll pretend that you didn't vote for him. But we know. We, we know. We're, it's, we're in the middle of it now. And you, all of you idiot MAGA guys are like, oh no, Trump's really smart. And he's so, much so smart, he's such a good business man. <laughs> and, and, and here he is embarrassing himself and you on a daily basis. Later when you find out, oh no, he, his mind, his very, very limited mind was already in very significant decline. You'll pretend you knew. I know I knew, I just, I, but I hated Latinos and Muslims. But I knew, I knew, did I say that out loud? I, yeah, uh, that, that's what'll happen to you. Yeah, and look, there's, there's the comical angle to it where you see his stupidity and you can't help but laugh how incredibly dumb he is. But at the same time, lives are lost as a result of his stupidity. I mean, this hurricane is no joke. And again, in the Bahamas, it has created a complete and utter destruction. You're looking at the uh, uh, Abaco Island, great Abaco Island in Bahamas there. Five God. people are already reported dead, an eight year old was reported drowned. And by the way, this is just the beginning. I mean, mm. the death toll is definitely going to uh, way go higher. Up. Yeah. So it's it's just, it sat as a category five uh, on top of the island for an incredibly long period of time. So, and, and, and you know, the funny thing is, if Trump was right about how people hadn't heard of category fives, it actually wouldn't be something that he should be saying politically. Why? Because the storms are getting more intense, and why? Climate change. So if it was true that nobody had ever heard of a category five before, and now all of a sudden we have category fives, that means you should leap into action and make sure that we're fighting against climate change. Climate change does not create more hurricanes. What it does is it makes the hurricanes far more intense because of the warm ocean water, which creates more precipitation and more wind and more sustained and sometimes even slower. So it becomes a category five and then sits over land, wiping out everything on the ground. It looks like a nuke hit it. And who's the leader of the most powerful country that, by the way, gets hit with hurricanes all the time? Who's in charge now? A total buffoon that has almost no mind left. And we're supposed to trust that everything's gonna be okay? His own weather uh, uh, service. service, thank you, National Weather Service, uh, turns around and says, no, don't believe the president. The president is an idiot. Whatever you do, do not listen to the president. Alabama, you're gonna be fine. Florida, you are not. You need to take action right now. But turn off Twitter, turn off the TV, don't listen to the president, because the president has lost his goddamn mind. Like what you see, click the subscribe button below, and don't forget to ring the bell to never miss another video from the Young Turks.